Hey everybody, this is Ori from Master Web, and I'm going to introduce to you today Shopify's tipping functionality. It's a really, really simple one. Uh, it's especially good for restaurants, but any business that wants to actually ask for tips from their customers while they check out uh, can do this. So what you can see on my screen right now is I mimicked on my test site. I, I'm mimicking a customer that went to checkout. They selected their shipping information, their shipping methods, obviously added to cart. And on the final section of uh, the checkout, there's another box here once I enabled it called add tip. Okay. And so you can actually preset these amounts. So for example, 10% of the total or 20% or 25, or you can allow the customer to enter their, their tip. If they want to give you 50%, they want to give you $2, $10, whatever it might be, they can do it. So if I do this as a customer, you'll see I clicked and here there'll be an extra tip section. It added to the totals and now I can check out. So let me check out. And again, this is a this is a test store, so don't worry about this. Um, just for my test site, okay. And click here, okay. So now I basically made an order. So you have an extra section called tip and an order. So I'm going to show you a few things that, uh, how it looks for the customer, how it looks for the business, and how you actually enable this, okay. So here is my total. This is my thank you success page. I have another row here called tip and all the normal information right here. Okay, so as a customer, uh, I made an order before. You can also see that the automated emails to the customer, there's an extra line. So everything is already working and implemented. If your email templates are working correctly, you didn't modify them, you're gonna have this extra information. This is the transactional email. This is a sales thank you for your purchase email to the customer. So if I go to the back end and I click on orders and I just made this order 1048, I can go here to my order. Let me refresh the page. Okay, and I can go right here. So this is my order. I can click on it. And inside the order, you'll be able to see there's another row for the tips. So where is this? Right here. Okay, so that's it. So everything's implemented and very simple. So a few things. Let me show you uh, a few things. So number one is if you actually want to make a refund, you have to note this. So let's say you're making a refund. This is 1268. And let's say I go here and I want to create a refund. So, uh, and let's say I want to refund everything. So I refund this, I refund my full products, and I also refund my shipping. So when I specify here, you'll notice the total amount that I'm refunding is less than the total amount the customer paid. Why is that? Because the tip is actually not included by, by default. So if you want to re uh, refund the tip as well, in the page before, you'd have to note that. Assuming you want to refund 100% of the order, you'd have to note it. And in this case, it's $1.20, I believe, right here, $1.20. So I would go here and I would actually add that extra. So this is just one thing that the current uh, um, functionality, it'll have to add that. So I click here. And I click here, so your customers, if you want to refund 100%, they're not going to complain. And then obviously, this is the total amount, which is 120 extra. And I would just type this in, and I would click on the refund, okay? So let's see here. Okay, so got it. Okay, so it asked me, hey, are you sure you want to add the, you know, the tip, et cetera? Okay, good. So I got it. And everything looks good, right? Net payment is zero because they ordered 1268, et cetera. So let me show you how to actually add this. It's really, really simple. How do you enable this? So you go to settings, okay? And you go to checkout and you're gonna scroll down. There's gonna be a new section here called tipping right here. If you wanna disable it or by default, it would be disabled. If you wanna enable it, you enable it here and you specify the three options in percentage. So for example, if you remember, I had a 10, 20, and 30, or 10, 20, and 25, uh, you can change that to you know, five, 10, and 20, whatever it might be for fitting for your business, right? And you click on save and that's it. And once you do that, in the beginning of the video, you saw those three boxes. So let me go and let me show you one more thing here. I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna add my product to my cart, and I'm gonna proceed to checkout. So I want to show you just one more thing that's interesting for you guys. In case you want to change some of the wording or translate if you have a different language, you can also modify some of these uh, sections right here. So if you go right here, I'm going to go to the checkout page and you have here add tip, show your support, the percentages, and thank you. Okay. So uh, sometimes you want to change these words. So how do you do that? What you do is you go to your online store and you go to your theme, the one that's published. Obviously. 
you're not sure what you're doing, you can try it on a different theme, etc. So you're going to go here, action, edit languages, and you're going to go to the checkout, right? We're editing things that are related to the checkout. So let me go here, checkout and system, and I'm going to scroll down. I'm going to look for the tip section. Let's find it. Okay. Scroll down. There's quite a few things. Uh, let me just search for this. Okay. So tip. Okay, here it is. So if you go here to the section here, so I have the tip label. See, see right here. So tip, you have this. So if I add this, for example, right here, tip dot, right? So I made this. I can do this just to show you tip label. Okay. And then there's more for tip. Tip valid, uh, invalid tip amount. This is going to be if you put a total that's too high, for example, right here. Okay, it's going to tell you, hey, this is too high. Okay, and etc. So you can basically go and edit all of these tip right here, check out tips, here's the title, add tip, etc. So all of these things right here, you can actually ma manage them. All of the, you know, this and this and etc. etc. All of these things. That's it. It's really, really simple. Um, hope in the future they're going to add some more functionality, some more things, but this is the current functionality just got released this week. Uh, if you have any questions, I'm happy to answer. Thank you for your time, everybody, and appreciate you watching our videos. Appreciate it. Thank you.